what's next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... Ignis, a little help? Oh, utterly hopeless. We are scholars of the culinary arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> The Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Wanna check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah. Perhaps. And we. Based on the government's actions. It would seem Accordo is supportive of the... So this is your maiden visit. You doubtless... This country. Oh, oh, just be aware that... We'll bear that. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. Uh... We're good for now. Well, if you need... Thanks. For... My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And... The Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh. Okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Bet the view's even better from a gondola. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation. So I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. She better be safe. She is. But whether she remains so depends wholly upon you. Now let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian?
Doesn't matter why she's doing this. So the Oracle can do as she pleases. A precarious attitude to take before God. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with the Archean. Tell me, what happened? The big guy woke up and went on a trip. Really? A mild way to put it. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Not much you can do when it comes to gods. You'd suggest I accept my city's destruction? Gotta choose what you want to protect. I wasn't expecting you to say that. Perhaps you're not as unthinking as I first thought. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. Nah, can't be bothered. Come now, we both know you want the right. I will pretend that was a joke. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. You're basically telling us to fight the Empire alone. In a manner of speaking, but to rephrase it from our perspective, Accordo has no troops that can aid you, not amid such chaos at any rate. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Just to be clear, we're doing you a favor. <laughs> a final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning. For both King and Oracle. There'll be a reckoning for you, too. A leader must know when to bring out the steel. Surely you understand this. There won't be any casualties. Again, you intrigue me. You and your father are cut from different cloths. I wonder what manner of king you'll make. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I trust you understand your part in this. What happens next is up to you. 